Okay, moving into today's session, we've got a repeat speed session and a power session in the gym. So make sure that you're coming into this session well fueled with good nutrition, you're well hydrated, and your timing, the, your time of day is what works best for you. So for some of you, that's going to be first thing in the morning, for some that's going to be at lunchtime, for some that's going to be in the afternoon, but the body loves routine. So if you can find a routine of the Christmas break as best you can around, whether you're on holidays or um, you might be doing things a little bit differently. You're not working, you're not at school. Um, we want to try and keep our training in routine as best we can. That's really, really important from a, a training intensity and quality point of view. So this session, like I mentioned, is a repeat speed session. So if you, if you feel better with running in boots, feel free to bring them down. Start with a two minute jog and then four minutes mobility. So hit some mobility around your hamstrings and lower back and hip flexors to get us ready for some high speed running. And then from there, we've got our 50 meter strides. So it's four efforts focusing on sprinting techniques. So with sprinting, our feet are going to be a lot higher off the ground because we're generating good force into the ground. Um, so practice in that acceleration position with your starts, leaning forward, and you're at a 45 degree angle with your shoulder, hips, and feet. And then we're building up to 55% of your max velocity for two reps, walk, return, and then two efforts at 65% of max velocity. That will get us ready for our repeat speed running where we have six efforts at 60 meters where we're uh, trying to get as close to the targets as you can so for the a's you're trying to hit 11 second reps i thought ideally it might be like a 10.5 or 11.5 or bang on 11. we're not trying to um, compete with that score and get a nine second score or for for the c's you're not trying to get like a what the B's are trying to do or the A's are trying to do at 11. We're trying to get as close to those targets as best we can. Same for the 110 meter efforts. We've got six of those and get as close to the target as you possibly can is the key. And that's the same for all our running speeds, the aerobic threshold and repeat speed. We're not trying to beat those scores. We're trying to get as close to those times as we can. Having a good rest, then we'll go into our aerobic running. So this is where our feet stay low, close to the ground it's um, an easy pace run and from there we're trying to focus on hitting in your uh, recovery speeds uh, so smooth running practice your, your breathing trying to keep your heart rate nice and level um, it's not focused on hard work rate but it's it should be steady pace run and you should it should feel relatively sustainable and the reps should feel easy as we progress the rest periods between efforts will be um, harder so the way we start, six, 150 metres, have your recovery in between each rep. Then we progress into our 200s. We've got four of those, 200 metre efforts. And then we've got our 300 metres. So with all this Christmas program, we're not doing lots of running out on the asphalt. We're, we're ideally running on a footy oval. You've got your footy close by so you can get that football work in, done in between. Have some cones or some sort of landmarks where you're setting up your measurements. And ideally, you invest in a wheel for for your holiday program so you can do that and that's a good investment over your career um, so you can measure these distances then we've got our high speed efforts so we've got four 20 meter hard accelerations where we're building up to 80 to 85 percent over a short distance only 20 meters so focus on your first three steps they should be at, done at 100 percent effort and lots of arm swing two at 80 85 then two at 85 to 90 percent then we finish with a work rate test. So two minutes to run as far as you possibly can. Record your distance so we can have some history of this and we can bring in this benchmark workout again. Um, obviously, you've done quality work leading up to it. You're not going into this, this part fresh. We're not doing it at the start of the session. So we're aware of that, but we just want to make sure we're getting in that gut running and you're really getting into the hurt locker. So from a mental point of view and physical point of view, you're prepared for when we do our retesting in the new year because you're tapped into that regularly. So get, have a target for that one and, and test yourself and see what you can do. Thank you. Like always, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on the Team Builder app.